the chins into this white <laughs> nightgown. <laughs> this is a smaller size, so hmm, lost well, weight and I fit in a smaller size. So <laughs> I got my pink. My uh, daughter Sophia was here. Got my pink and my, I saw my mom for Mother's Day. She brought me all these cans of, of uh, food and I was walking around doing my arms. We got original molasses pork and spices for my food pantry. We got cut green beans. And I might do like tasties. It was eat out of the can or put it on a plate. <laughs> it was fun too. And I was eating Popeye. Low sodium spinach. Popeye the sailor man. Do -do. I was chilling with some music. And Brandon just ordered a pizza. <laughs> he literally, he went in. I don't know if he got DoorDash bring it to him. Since he works DoorDash. I think he probably, probably went and picked it up. <laughs> but my other son, Ryan, who does DoorDash, he will DoorDash stuff on his days off. It's funny. Ooh, this is spicy. <coughs> mm, peppery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was really good. I have all my drinks. Mm. Got a lot of commenters coming coming in. Of course, I don't know what who the heck half of them are, but hey, it's interesting. I, I it's interesting what they have to say. <laughs> With this book, Reader's Digest Quick Thrifty Cooking. My mom, my mom brought it for moi, for myself. <laughs> I'm a simple good cookbook stuff. So yeah, and the kids too can cook from it. That's in an old-fashioned binder. Look at this fashion binder. <laughs> One stop shopping for the week. Every trip to the supermarket or corner grocery was a potential threat to your pocketbook. The way to avoid impulse buying and to save yourself the additional annoyance of hopping into a car countless times during the week is to do all your shopping at one time. One stop shopping requires a special kind of planning, as you will see, but it will save you several hours weekly and who, and who knows how much money. The menus in the next two pages provide varied dinners that follow the principles of one-stop shopping. The first of these is planning menus around the perishability of foods. Fish is cooked on day one, for example, because it should be cooked as soon as possible after purchase. Hamburger is the choice for day two because ground meat is best served no later than the second day after purchase. All the other food will keep well in the refrigerator or the freezer or on the shelf. And another basic principle illustrated here is the importance of maintaining a stock of the staples listed in stocking at page 15. When the ingredients required for each recipe are divided between staples and items for the shopping list, you will find that the shopping list is surprisingly short. In instances where the recipe calls for larger than usual amount of particular staple, the amount is noted in staple column. 
Recipes are not specified for all dishes on the menu. For example, you can prepare the peas recommended in the menu for day two as you like them. Suggested flavorings for these dishes are listed in the staples column. Only evening meals, <clears throat> evening meal menus are given because breakfasts are fairly routine in most households and lunches are often eaten from home. Use the menu to plan and shop for a week's dinners. Then use the one-stop shopping and planning method to work out your own menus for other weeks. Return to a week's menus for every four to six weeks. In this book, um, let's see how old it is. My mom would plan and prepare her meals. Let's see. <sighs> Oh, there's cutouts, too, for food. Oh, look. Creamy Chicken Alfredo. Oh, she put this in there for me. Creamy Chicken Alfredo. Look at this brownie ice cream pie. And how to make it. <laughs> it's nice. Got French onion soup with cheese toast. Oh, I love making that. Oh. Winter squash soup. Buttermilk gazpacho. Oh, wow. Is that a nice book? <laughs> I can look, look over. Something to look through. <laughs> and my delicious pizza. <laughs> Whee! I'm trying to hold it without dropping it all. Mmm. <laughs> Product pieces, delicious. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's really fun. I'm looking forward to trying these these vegetables. She gave me a whole box of them, different kinds. <laughs> trying to build my stamina so I walk into the kitchen and I grab one or two and maybe I'll put something in the microwave or I'll wash my hands or something back and forth <clears throat> and then if I need my inhaler I do my inhaler I'm not to build a little stamina back and forth don't listen to what Annie says when she's saying going over to the kitchen so it's not up your waiter and it does help it does help the circulation you know it's not good to just be sitting in bed or sitting in a chair anyway or at a desk. Gotta stretch your legs. See you later. Bye now.